So it seems like there was a concerted effort to hide this event from parents. It was announced only three days before with flyers around the school and in a daily announcement video that got played in students' homerooms. But if there really is no problem with bearded men dressed as women who usually perform suggestive dances at gay bars dancing in front of 15 year olds at school. Sarah Stock for Rebel News. And wow guys, the Alphabet Mafia is really starting off strong when it comes to grooming children during the month of June. This Monday afternoon, Ross Shepherd High School in Edmonton, Alberta kicked off their Pride Week celebrations with a drag performance in which bearded drag queen Gogo Fetch rolled around on the ground, gradually removing clothing while dancing in front of teenagers. Huge shocker, parents had no idea this was happening. When we watch some of Gogo Fetch's previous shows, we see him performing sexually suggestive dance routines while wearing very revealing clothing, showing off those hairy legs and lifting up his skirt to show off his underwear. So it seems like there was a concerted effort to hide this event from parents. It was announced only three days before with flyers around the school and in a daily announcement video that got played in students' homerooms. Usually important announcements would be given to parents from the school's social media accounts, but when it came to this drag show, there was no announcement to be found. Not only did Ross Shepard fail to notify parents about this drag for minors show, but they used your tax dollars to do so. Our source confirms that both the drag queen and the dance instructor hired for Wednesday's Pride Week activity, a Vogue dance workshop, were paid for their services, although we don't know the exact cost yet. Our inside sources also revealed that the principal, Rick Stanley, was adamant that the performance would go on no matter who disagrees. Once receiving some internal backlash before the event, he relayed a message to the drag queen to tone down the show to avoid further flack. Now, this isn't the first time the school's reputation has been tainted by controversy. Back in 2012, a teacher at Ross Shepard High awarded zeros to students for work that wasn't handed in or tests not taken, even though it went against the school's no zeros policy, and he was subsequently fired. Principal Stanley promoted this event with this poster. We have Mr. Gogo Fetch at the bottom left, and Alberta NDP MLA Janice Irwin on the right. She's an openly gay, extremely radical proponent of the LGBT agenda, who was the master of ceremonies at this Pride Month kickoff. It's worth noting that as of now, it's legal in Alberta for the school to do this. The Alberta Education Minister's Office was contacted about this performance, and he responded that they do not have the authority to intervene with Pride Week events because schools were given autonomy to plan and host Pride Week activities. Now, to get to the bottom of this, we reached out to Ross Shepherd High School to hear their side of the story with the following questions. What steps were made to notify parents? If none, then why? What steps were made to ensure that the children were protected from obscenity, especially given the drag queen's previous stage performances? How much was the drag queen paid? How was the drag queen selected? What vetting process, if any, was undertaken? If none, then why? Why was a drag queen performance proposed at all to celebrate Pride, given the controversy around drag performances in minors? The school replied, but their statement did not answer any of the questions I asked. Here's what they said. On Monday, a number of presenters, including Gogo Fetch, attended Ross Shepherd School and spoke to students about hope, joy, kindness, and appreciation for empathy in a student-appropriate context. The focus of the presentation was about celebrating and acknowledging diversity in schools and the community. The presentation was not explicit in any way and was an opt-in event held outside of school instructional hours with about 40 students present. Wow, what a BS response. I don't think a single question was answered. Although I'm not disappointed, I can't say I'm surprised that a school so adamant about pushing gender ideology on children also doesn't have the integrity to be transparent about what's going on with this drag show. But if there really is no problem with bearded men dressed as women who usually perform suggestive dances at gay bars dancing in front of 15 year olds at school, then why all the secrecy? For Rebel News, I'm Sarah Stock. Parents have a right to know about this degeneracy that has overtaken their kids' schools, and Rebel News will continue to expose it with your help. 
To fight against gender ideology in the classroom and to support our work, please head over to stopclassroomgrooming.com and sign our petition.